at the heart of the Ranger Trail trailer are the raw materials that we select to build the trailer from. We're standing by a stack of sea channel that has been steel shot blasted in preparation for the trailer to be uh, put on the jig. This is important because this metal has been prepared for paint. And as you can see, it looks probably better than it did when it came out of the mill. All the oil, all the residue has been removed. The reason we choose C channel, it's a structural member with a lot of strength for the frame rails and cross members on the trailer. We're able to coat the entire outside portion of this C channel. If we were looking at a tubing trailer, which makes a very nice looking frame, there would be an interior that would be impossible to get to. So we choose the C channel in order to ensure that we're able to put the corrosion resistance, the paint or the coating on, and cover it in its entirety. We developed a process that we call road armor. It's exclusively used on all steel Ranger Trail trailers. This process is putting a, a much thicker coat than the traditional paint method of urethane all over the exterior surfaces. Because it has some flexibility in the surface, it actually repels the gravels and the elements much better than traditional paint methods do. I want to show you a little machine that we developed. We call it a gravelometer. And it's something that was built to simulate the best we could how gravel is thrown from behind the vehicle or comes up off the road. Just your normal road hazards traveling down the road. Whether it's an unimproved ramp or one that has just been chipping sealed, they're unavoidable from time to time. So we felt like we need to come up with a process and a system to put on the Ranger Trail trailer to make it almost impervious to those kind of conditions. What we've done is we've taken what we think is just a typical uh, example of the chip and seal on the, on the highways across the country and boat ramps. We put that in this hopper and it's, it feeds down into this little machine that has a, a uh, air assist that's blowing those gravels against the painted surface. Now let me show you exactly what we're testing here. This small sample is just a piece of metal that has been prepared on one side with the road armor just as we apply it on the Ranger Trail trailers. On the other side is a what I would call the high end of a typical paint system that's commonly used on trailers today. This is really a good system. It's a two-part urethane with an epoxy based primer underneath it. So it's the, pretty much the best attempt at applying paint to a trailer frame. And I think I can show you here very, very vividly what those differences are once we apply this gravel. We're going to put this in our machine with the painted surface first in, to the gravelometer. Clamp that into place and what we'll do is we've put the gravel into the hopper and it's going to travel down through a tube pushed by air and it will subject this painted surface to a gravel that we believe is typical on the roads today. So we'll start the motor, we'll apply some air, and we'll start blowing gravel against this uh, small painted surface that I just clamped into place. Leave it there five, six seconds, turn it off. We'll remove the, the sample. And as you can see, it's pretty evident that those gravel have uh, wrecked havoc on that painted finish. Now I'd like to turn it over to the road armor again and put that into the same machine, applying the same gravel, and I'll show you what the results will be with road armor. We'll clamp that into place, start up the machine again, apply the gravel. We'll leave it there a few seconds just to make sure that uh, you understand that we subjected it to at least as much or even more than the paint. I'm going to leave it there a few extra seconds just to show you. We'll turn it off. Remove the sample. And as you can see, all that has happened is that those gravels and the dust from the gravel have dulled the finish of the road armor, which incidentally will buff right back to, to its original. So as you can see, we've developed a surface here that's almost indestructible. Everything can be torn up in some way, shape, or form, but this finish is virtually indestructible as it relates to the way that we normally trailer boats across the highway. Another unique feature of Ranger Trail worth pointing out is a fiberglass fender system that we've used since 1978. In those years, we've learned a lot about building fiberglass fenders. 
things that aren't as apparent when you first uh, look at the fender maybe, things that uh, improve the durability and ensure that we have the over the road worthiness, if you will, to make sure that the fenders hold up day after day. We use a closed cavity bag molding system to mold all of our fenders. What that does for us is make sure that we have the repeatability. In that I mean that the laminate structure from fender to fender can be made identically. We can also reinforce the areas where we've learned over time that are critical to the performance of that fender over the long term. Some of the great advantages of using this closed cavity bag molding system as opposed to a more traditional open molding system, for example, is that we can mold undercuts. And we do that by using multiple piece molds that are taken apart and the fender pulled out. So we can do some things in our operation that's uh, pretty tricky and difficult to do. The color coordination of the boat to the trailer is real critical in our business and I think something that our customers really do appreciate. I'd like to show you a few features of the Ranger Trail trailer, beginning with the torsion axle. This torsion axle replaces leaf springs that were typically used for many, many years on the trailer. What this does is it gives you suspension independent each wheel from the other one. And also, with our road armor system, it virtually eliminates wear points in the suspension so that you don't see those the, where the plates are wearing together or where the spring leaves were running together. Being independent from each other, allows us to bolt the axle solid to the frame, which structurally is a lot more solid. A couple of the other features that are standard on Ranger Trail trailers is the Cool Hub, the contained orbital oil lubrication system. Several years ago, we come up with this to replace grease in the uh, hubs. And as you know, grease is fairly high maintenance. It's hard to know if the grease is against the bearing. And with this oil filled hub, you're insured always just by looking at this sight gauge that there is oil in the system and that your bearings are bathed in oil. Another thing that's uh, unique and brand new this year is a new brake system, which is an aluminum brake. Aluminum brakes are usually associated with what's used on racing cars. And they do that because it dissipates or takes away the heat so well. When the brake's applied, as you know, it squeezes in on the rotor and this heats up very hot in some cases. This caliper is designed at just a little over 100 degrees generally when this is running to seven to 800 degrees. So it's a real unique, good braking system that we've just put on Ranger Trail this year, standard anywhere there's brakes. One of the things that we do on every trailer is that we have a swing away tongue. This tongue enables us to pull the pin, swing the trailer tongue around, and shorten the trailer by almost two feet in many cases. And that's important because when you're in a garage and you have a tight space or you don't want to have to walk over the tongue, it's real convenient just to be able to swing that around. Another thing that makes this uh, a unique feature is when you swing that around, you can actually lock that tongue to the side. It makes it very difficult to, to steal or to tow away. Another thing that we came out with that's exclusive to Ranger Trail and is a patent applied for is this center point trailer tongue jack. And it's real unique in that Traditionally, they've been mounted on the side. When the jack is located on the center line, it makes it swing around much easier. And what happens is, we can, by stowing that, we can just latch it into place and it stows right away. A lot of the issues that you get into when trailering a boat, and you know what they are, whether it's the wiring harnesses, keeping the lights burning, uh, keeping the hubs grease and all, we've just tried to eliminate all of that maintenance. With the use of LED lighting, we've actually changed the uh, longevity of the lights exponentially so that we've just kind of removed that from the equation as a problem area. So you take aluminum brakes that dissipate the heat much quicker than the traditional method. We have torsion axles that add a great suspension to the trailer. There are no leafs in the springs to wear and rust. LED lighting, which is virtually indestructible. All these things added together just lower the maintenance. Combine that with a cool hub so that we're running in oil continually and you've got a trailer that can get on down the road.